Hi, I'm Megan and I'm an elementary school teacher and today I want to share with you a product that I've found that has helped me out as far as teaching math goes. Now math is something that needs a foundation. That foundation is times tables. Times tables can be such a chore with children as you just drill them over and over again for months on end and sometimes they still don't get it. That's why I turn to times tales. Now times tales is a way that they use stories easy stories that are memorable for the children, and then they turn them into math problems. Now you might think this sounds kind of confusing, but as you go through, you can see how simple and how wonderful this product is. It's not like anything I've seen before, and I just love using it with so many different types of students. In fact, timestills.com, if you go on there, you can see a statistic that timestills works for all types of learners, even students that have learning disabilities. In fact, it's improved their test scores from 70 to 84%. Even for students with dyslexia, students that just it, basically their teachers and their parents are at their wits end, this product is for them as well. Now throughout the book, they have different stories. Now the stories are based on the numbers. Each number is assigned a character. For example, here you can see there's two tree houses. Those are both nines. So you have two tree houses and then you have that one tree house had eight apples in their basket, and the other tree house had one apple. That's all the children have to remember. What they don't realize is they're actually learning that nine times nine is 81. It works the same way with even different numbers. For example, the eights and the fours. There's an eight, Mrs. Snowman, and there's a four, a chair. Mrs. Snowman stood on a chair and reached for three buttons and two mittens. Once again, the children aren't even realizing that they're learning math problems, but then they are and then they realize that it's actually 32. Now, they also do a really good job in this workbook to reinforce that. So as you can see here, you have a six times nine equals 54. Now, they only see the stories, the sixth grade class and the treehouse. And as they do this, eventually it'll start to switch over to numbers. Now, not only is the fact that these are fun for children, but it also is record time. The rote memorization and all that takes so long and in fact takes a valuable time for other things in math. But when you can learn the times tales in less than an hour working with a student one-on-one, -on -one, this really can increase the time spent in other areas because you are able to have that foundation of the times tales just grasped like that. So go check it out for yourself.